Hello and welcome to this new episode of Tubalance Visuals Tutorials. My name is Pascal and today we are talking about prompts. A term you will hear quite often the next weeks, months and years when it comes to working with AI tools like Midjourney. What is a prompt? A prompt is like a recipe and you can go to a cook and you can order scrambled eggs. Fair enough and maybe you get the result you are looking for. But you have no real control about the outcome. And you can also order scrambled eggs with onions, cheese, bacon, tomatoes, etc., etc. And you can add more details to the recipe so the cook has a much better understanding about the outcome you're looking for. And when we're talking about prompts, it is the same principle. You can go to Midjourney and you can write a woman with three cats. Fair enough, and maybe you have the luck that you have some outcome that you are happy with, but you have no real control about the scenery. If you want to be the director of your scene, you normally write longer prompts like photography of, illustration of, a woman with three cats, in a city, in a night scene, rainy mood, uh, black and white, shot with the Leica cam, shot with the 1.8 millimeter lens, volumetric lights, ambient lights, etc, etc, etc. So you add much, much more details to the prompt so Midjourney gets a better understanding about the outcome you are looking for. But when you're working with longer prompts, then you maybe face the problem that this is really something that is time consuming and sometimes also annoying because first of all you have to think about all the ingredients of your prompt second of all you have to write them down all the time for every image you want to create um, then you have the situation you want to test out different versions of your prompt you want to change the lighting you want to change the location and so on and so on and that is really super time consuming because you have to copy paste delete add and rearrange and that we're always in this little text field and today i am going to show you a chrome extension called mid prompts which helps you to build and organize all your prompts with ease it makes your life so so much easier because you don't have to do the repetitive work all the time you don't have to type imagine again and again and again because it's automatically added to your prompt and you don't only have to yeah you, you don't have to do anything you just create your prompt with ease and i will show you exactly how it works go to mid, uh, mid journey paste it in press enter and you're done um so also, you can organize all your prompts, so you don't have to scroll up and down and search for all the prompts you have done last week or something like that to test a different version again. Um, so today we take a deeper look. I will show you exactly how MidPromps works, what it can do for you and how it can help you to improve your workflow when it comes to building prompts on a daily basis and working with complex prompts um, in MidJourney. And yeah, let's directly take a deeper look and I hope you like it and I hope it helps you to be a better prompt writer and gives you a little bit more time to focus on the real interesting things, building cool outcomes. So enjoy and let's take a look. Then let's change the way you will create prompts in the future and the first thing we have to do for that is go to the Chrome Web Store and search for mid prompts and you directly see it here and let's add it to Chrome and you see that the plugin is directly popping up here and I highly recommend that you fix it on the top level so if you have Discord open so you have mid prompts directly here and you don't have to search for it this also takes a little bit of time and yeah we want to save time this is everything that mid prompts is made for um, the first thing is that you see some kind of onboarding. We will close this for now, but this onboarding will guide you through everything if you haven't watched the video before you install the plugin. And it helps you to understand the interface and how MidPoms really works. Also, you realize this counter is counting down. These are the 60 minutes of trial. And 
let's close it now because the cool thing is it's only counting if you really use the buckling and we closed it at 20 and when we open it up again it's still at 20 that means you have 60 minutes of full usage without any limitations without any payments upfront, without any information you have to provide and this gives you a lot of time to find out if mid prompts helps you or not and let's take a look at the interface it's quite straightforward it's super clean and super simple we have a drop down here and this drop down is related to topics and themes and every topic and every themes is preset with a lot of different ingredients out of the box so that gives you a really really quick start if you want to create some cool stuff without thinking about all the ingredients by yourself. Then we have a text tweet where we can describe our topic, subject or scene. And we don't have to do anything more with the plugin because the real power is in the tag cloud here and we will see how this works. And let's keep the motive we already talked about, a woman with three cats. And then we see four more drop downs, actually predefined with the versions of Mid Journey, with some aspect ratios, with a stylization feature, and some other interesting Mid Journey parameters. And we also see a huge tech cloud with a lot of different ingredients. And in this tech cloud, we are fully flexible, we can create things, we can rearrange things we can delete things and we can do whatever we want um, so everything you see here is fully customizable in the settings area and i will show you in a second and let's try to find out how long it takes to build this long prompt with mid prompts because normally you go to discord you start with imagine then you start writing of a woman with three cats and now you can imagine how long it takes to think about all these different ingredients every time you want to create a new image illustration graphic design logo design whatever you are working on and this is super super time consuming and also super annoying because you have to write it all the time in this little text box here and it is not really fun to do instead with mid prompts it is fun because you just click the ingredients you want to have in your recipe and let's go for it we want to have a shot from behind we want to have it in a city we want a walking pose in the summer we want to have some volumetric lights a little bit of lens flare bouquet effect a little bit hdr cinematic film look a little bit color grading like 1.8 millimeters because we want a little bit more depth of field and our prompt is ready. And I don't know if you realized it, if you click or write anything, whatever you change here will be reflected in this little check mark here on top. And this check mark shows you that the prompt you see here is automatically saved into the clipboard. So whenever you go to the Discord and you paste it in, you see that imagine is directly added to the prompt and you can directly hit enter and can go to the next one and now let's say we want to create an illustration so let's create a quick snapshot uh, so we can go back and forth between our different topics whenever we need it and now let's say we want a simple Asian art style, manga style, a little bit more vintage, bold, a little bit futuristic, vibrant colors on a white background. We go to Discord, paste it in. Here we go. We create another snapshot and then let's go for a vector t-shirt design. And here we can go for... 
um, some kind of geometric art, we want a broken brush, we want it a little bit different, black and urban art, street art. And let's paste it in. And you see, we created three different image prompts within two minutes. Um, and we can go back to our photography and we can change the uh, season. We can add some snow instead of rain. So we add it here and we add some snow. Um, and we want to do it in black and white this time. And we want an indoor scene and we write on the couch. And let's go for it. Bam. And we can make another snapshot. And you see that we can now jump back and forth between our different prompts. And this is just fun to work with it. Um, and I hope you realize how how much time you can save with this plugin. And like I said before, everything you see is fully customizable here in the settings area. So it means you can rename things, you can rearrange things, you can add new things. And if we go back, we see new things rearranged and renamed. Everything is directly reflected here. And this is for every drop down and everything you see. So you have no limitations. You can customize the way you want. And this is your style. It is your prompt. And more or less, this is everything mid prompts can do. I think you get a quick idea about the possibilities and how it can save you tons and tons of time if you're working with mid journey on a daily basis and you're working on different topics at the same time and i hope you liked it and if you really like it and the counter is down then you will see this button again but you can also click on this button then you will go to gumroad and you can buy it for 9.99 one-time payment i think it's a super fair price for this extreme time saving helper so if you like it, leave us a like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And yeah, I wish you happy prompting and thank you for watching.